So in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about callback functions and how you need to start implementing these if you want to take your projects to a next level, especially if you're building out complex crews that are processing a lot of information. So if we take a look at crew AI's documents over here, you will see that in the task attributes, these are basically the properties that you can set for your test. There's different things that are required and optional for defining your task. Of course, I'm sure you know that you need your agent, you need your expected output, and of course, you can also select your tools. Now, if you scroll down here, you will see this part that says callback. And by the definition, we read that it says a Python callable that is executed with a task's output upon completion. Mm -hmm. So this is just the techie way of saying that whenever you use a callback function, this is something that's going to be executed, of course, a function after your task is completed. Now, this might sound a little bit like the way that you use your tools, right? Because whenever you set your tools for your agents or for your crew, the agent that you're using has access to those tools to get more capabilities. But it's not quite like that. A tool for crew AI is more like extended capacity that the agent gets so that it can have better performance when it does its task. A callback is almost like a checkpoint or rather a thing that you want to happen once the task is complete. So here in the code, I'm going to show you how you implement it. And then we'll talk a little bit about the use cases that you could have for this in order to make your crews be more efficient and how you can start leveraging this to make more complex projects. So as you can see here, we have our research task, we have our analysis task, and we have our writing task. For each one of these tasks, you will see a line that says callback equals to on task complete. And again, we include this in all of the tasks right here. You see it on this one too, and on the third one as well. So what on task complete is, it's a function that's defined earlier. And we can see in the definition of the function here that what this does is it's going to create a file called something.txt and it's going to write to this file the results of the particular task. Now, when you run your query I cruise, you can see the output of your task here at the bottom as your crew is running. And the point to this isn't necessarily that you're going to save the files to this text file. But the point of this is that you can explicitly say that you want something to occur at the end of your task. So let's say you gave your crew a CSV file with data for multiple clients, multiple customers, again, with each row being a different customer. Well, after the information of each customer's process, you could then set a callback function to maybe add another column to this file and mark it as processed. And what's important about this is that at this point, whatever occurs with the callback function is all Python code that is running. It won't really affect the token limit that you're using for running your LLMs. Another use case where this would be important would be if you're trying to push data to a database. If let's say the output from this task is data you would want to have stored in a database, then you would call on a callback function that would then execute the database query. And the last one is just the example we talked about earlier, which is just saving your results to a text file. If this data that you want to analyze later or maybe it's going to be used or be referenced by a part of either your query AI project or a part of your Python program later on in the execution, then you would want it saved to a file rather than have it just be constantly referenced in a variable. Query AI is a very powerful framework and using these other tools is what's going to allow you to make more elaborate projects to start solving more and more problems and automating more parts of your life. I see that you guys are making really amazing projects and just learning this framework very, very fast. So I just wanted to share this bit of information with you so that you can make your projects that much better. I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can book a one on one with me. If you need help making progress in your career AI project, whether it's a personal project or a project for your business, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can book a one on one video call with me completely free. And I'll be more than happy to provide guidance and help you with it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.